So we're almost um, at the final stages of our project. Um, so armed with all of this, what you need to do is print these standoffs. Just quickly measure them and see. And these should be about 16.9 thereabout. Uh, so print four of these. Um, these these need to be about 35 I've sort of improvised a bit uh, I think they're a little bit bigger than 35 I just don't have the other piece they're about 40 basically right um, what you then need to do is print out this gizmo over here you'll notice that um, and there's nothing to write home about this piece. You've seen the side, um, but this side over here has this little uh, piece over here, and and what this is for is this is where the motor actually goes, and it will hold it. But you know, we'll we'll see how it fits together just now. All right. So talking about the motor. The motor goes all the way in there and it connects up with that piece over there. Let me just turn it around so you can see. There we go. It connects with that piece over there. Um, so what I'm going to do is just connect the motor and uh, start it actually so that it, it basically connects up and and basically screws this thing on all the way in so the motor is all the way in um, remember this piece over here so it's time for us to start pushing it in obviously it's a delicate process um, we're gonna make sure that these we can actually locate properly no actually it's wrong so this has to line up properly this side still slightly incorrect let's try this one yeah this seems to be it okay this side is in let's try this side yeah it's in Last one. All in. Yep. So you can actually see these. Now you can see the wires. Um, you know, they come out this side very nicely. Um, undeterred. Um, all we're going to do is just um, close it off and then get ready for the first test run. Right, so we're back. All of these are screwed in. Um, uh, the bolts and the nuts are um, all the way in there, uh, which is great. So, um, deliberately I've chosen the, the long-ish ones, just in case I need to mount this uh, to another piece. So I'm going to just let it stand up like this, uh, so you can see everything. And by everything that includes, you can sort of see where it comes through over there. So we're going to get ourselves ready for our first test. So I've just got a power source um, that I'm using. Basically, I'm going to plug in um, the red wire on the red power source. That's our positive and then plug in the ground and see oh there we go it's clamping there we go um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do the opposite it should actually start to open up this motor obviously is a little bit slow but you can get a thousand or 500 rpm motor and that's going to go a little bit faster so let's just quickly test it for the strength of the bite 
going to place this wheel. So you can sort of see uh, just the strength of this. It's actually got this rubber very tight. Uh, that's how strong um, this particular bite is. I'm going to go ahead and just release it um, before I break anything. So I'm just connecting or disconnecting this. There we go. And it should let go. It's letting go. It's letting go. Perfect. This is the last demo. Thank you very much.